Hey guys, how you doing? It's the Intuitive Investor from Stock Twits. I'm a little bummed this evening. I had a soccer game tonight, but it got rained out due to thunderstorms. So here I am, still wearing my uniform. So anyhow, here is the update. I'm going to try to keep this as brief as possible, only because I know that some of my videos go over 10 minutes and it gets boring. So I'm going to try to be very precise and concise. So this morning I had sent out a teaser and lo and behold, Aurora popped 12%. Um, awesome, awesome pop. Um, congrats to all the bulls who were a part of that. So there was two things that I wanted to talk about with Aurora Cannabis. Um, the first one was the rumors about Coca-Cola and who Coca-Cola is talking to and who I think Coca-Cola will eventually choose. Um, coincidentally, another report came out by Cornerstone Investments through Seeking Alpha. And I'm just going to go ahead and go over some of the bullet points that they made um, and kind of let you know what I think. Um, I think I'm in agreement with what they said. Uh, but they basically said that um, a Coke and Aurora partnership made sense because Aurora is a heavyweight in cannabis, um, in the cannabis industry, especially when it comes to CBD that is produced through hemp. Um, a lot of the other licensed producers are focused on producing cannabis that is THC rich. Um, as you know, CBD that comes from hemp has uh, next to nothing in THC. And Coca-Cola has never been a um, alcohol-based company. All their drinks are, you know, either water or health-based or sodas. So they would be focused on a product that is CBD infused, and that's where Aurora steps in. Um, so that was one of the reasons why uh, Cornerstone Investments indicated why it made most sense for them to choose Aurora, and I agree with that. Um, Aurora's focus has historically always been about hemp and CBD oil. Um, and another reason why Cornerstone believed that Aurora would be a good fit is because it's it has superior hemp capacities, um, especially with its most recent European um, acquisition, which happens to be the largest hemp producer. So that's a tremendous positive. Um, Hemco, which is also a leading producer in Canada. And finally, uh, the hemp cultivation at ICC Labs. And when you think about um, Coke's reach, Coke is in is a global um, beverage company. And so they want somebody, or at least they would want somebody who's already got a global footprint. And who does? Aurora does. So those were other reasons why Cornerstone Investments believed that it would be a great fit. Um, finally, I think Coke also needs somebody who understands CBD um, and has the capacity to produce um, CBD on a large scale. And all the other players don't have that capacity. Aurora does. Um, on the offside, just a small hypothesis, I would be I would be curious to see if maybe if Aurora did strike a deal with Coke, if they could simulta simultaneously strike a deal with an alcoholic beverage. Um, provider company. I think that would be probably freaking awesome, I think. Um, so, yes. So that's my impression of what Cornerstone Investments had said. I think it's a done deal. Um, I think one of the questions that somebody had brought up, I'm sorry um, to bring this up last second, was if there was a potential breach of confidentiality when that happened, I don't know. Um, was this supposed to be kept under the radar? And if it was, will this put the deal um, in peril? It's kind of hard to say, but obviously the rumors were brewing. Um, it first came out last Monday, I believe, when it was first published. Um, but I think both sides have kept mum. Both sides have, I think, to agree, admitted that they've been talking to um, uh, not necessarily one another, but they've been talking to people, um, Aurora on the side of beverage and then Coke on the side of companies that produce CBD. 
So who knows? I think it would be a good match. Um, again, the, the, the CBD that's being produced by Aurora is superior to anyone else, their capability, and their global reach. Another great piece of news that we received was that um, Aurora was estimating to be uplisted into the, um, I'm just going to say NASDAQ, but it's really just the U.S. stock exchange. We don't know um, where they're going to fit. But even more importantly is the how quickly they believe that they will be uplisted. And they had estimated probably as soon as October next month. And so to me, I mean, this is tremendous news. You got the potential of them striking a very powerful deal with Coca-Cola. Um, you, you look at Aurora's resume in just 2018 and they have been devouring and acquiring people left and freaking right. Um, they have the right product. They have the scale to be able to produce whatever it is Coca-Cola wants. And now they're uplist, uh, uplisting into the, U, um, the U.S. Stock Exchange. And when you do that, then you become um, accessible. I got a graph right here that I'm going to put up. And they become accessible to all these um, institutional investors. And that would be banks, companies, pensions, hedge funds, REITs. Um, everything that you see here on this list is who um, now has access to that. And when you do that, then you see uh, powerful money coming into play. Now you have whales. And, of course, that further legitimizes the company. Um, and, of course, what we want to see is, is an increase in profits and an increase in share price. So I believe um, that... Where there's smoke, there's fire. Of course, I can't say for sure. No one can say anything for sure um, if there is going to be a deal. But as an intuitive investor, I use intuition to be my first and last deciding factor in terms of how I make my decision. I would advise everyone to not follow that strategy only because it, it's something that really requires a great deal of, of work to do. Um, so fundamentals and Wall Street sentiment. Right now, I feel Wall Street sentiment is extremely positive and bullish on Aurora. Um, that 12% pop certainly is atypical for Aurora in recent time. So I believe where there's smoke, there's a fire. I'm not going to say that I know anything special, but I agree with Cornerstone and I agree with some of the other writing that you've um, found online. So let's see what happens. I'm 100% bullish on Aurora and I think we're going to see um, a lot of really interesting ha things happen over the course of the next couple of weeks, especially since we're just under a month out from um, that infamous date of October 17th where cannabis becomes recreation illegal. So, all right, guys, let's hear your thoughts. Any comments, questions, suggestions? Um, there is another stock that I'm actually going to be writing about, um, making a video about. That's a so under the radar uh, cannabis stock. I've mentioned it a number of times in stock twits, um, but maybe take a look at the description and you'll get a catch of it. And then you could see my other videos um, that I plan on bringing up. So for now, don't forget to follow me on stock twits. I am the intuitive investor.